Hi everybody, I'm Michael. I'm here with my nephew. Michael. And today we're at Flamingo Road Nursery to check out some really cool scented plants for your South Florida garden. So, you ready to dig in? Yes. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, we did an opposite. How cool. <laughs> this is John. Hi, I'm John. <laughs> and we're at Flamingo Road Nursery as we did in the, as we hey, talked yeah, about in the intro. Awesome. And uh, you're the, the sales manager. I am. It is a Saturday and the sun's out and we are having a fantastic day. It's fun for having the people here and then I'm, I get to meet new, get to meet new friends. Yeah, yeah. And we really want to appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day because last time we did the video, we were super busy and we really appreciate it because it's helping folks learn about plants and, and this, this video is centric, centering on scented plants for your South Florida garden. This is my favorite right here. This is the Grand Duke. Oh, you got them. The Grand Duke are here. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. You got a Look at the Grand Duke. Michael, will you, will you, will you do oh us the honor? Oh my gosh. Take a, take, a, take, a, take, a, take a sniff and see right here, the, oh, flower. the flower. Not the plant. Smells like cinnamon. Oh, oh my wow, gosh. Wow, I almost know it has to be as a... Almost like a gardenia. Isn't it? It's just beautiful. fabulous. Yeah. Wow. And they come out and they open up and they look just like oh, the little you know roses. You're have some of those oh, in, I didn't either. I, I checked. So cool. I checked about yesterday and they had no blossoms on them. So oh, wow. I am so glad awesome. and happy that we are able to show everybody. Oh, that's This great. makes a beautiful little hedge. Oh, we're gonna go fast. That's, that's, this is the best smelling in the, in the whole nursery right here. <laughs> green apples. Oh wow. Well, he, so so as you see on here, this is our star jasmine. Okay, beautiful, beautiful plant. Going in, I, I, I want to just say something here when you mentioned pinwheel jasmine. The pinwheel jasmine, okay, uh, it says it's, it's not a true jasmine. Uh, it flowers like one, but has no fragrance. So cool. this particular one is, is named jasmine, but it's not a true jasmine. So it's not going to have any fragrance. It gives us really beautiful six-foot uh, hedges right. with with white flowers all over that look like like uh, j uh, jasmine flowers, but no, they're not. I, I think I well, I've used these many many moons ago in our Miami Shores home by our pool, and it actually got some shade, and it actually they will still flower in the shade, will. which is a really cool thing. It doesn't necessarily have the scent, but it's got these beautiful and white does real well when you're in a dark area under some trees because that that white will pop or a bright yellow, but really cool plants but but we just went over grand duke amazing yes grand duke and that's that's your favorite that's, that's john's it. favorite this is john's favorite here but gardenia so we can get there okay so now we get down to down here it's called this little gardenia is called buttons this gets about three feet tall it does great in containers now smell that oh oh, oh yeah <laughs> very good good reaction yeah this is my the gardenia yeah. by far like is mango. my favorite scent for Smells a shrub like here mango. in South Florida. You like a ripened mango? Yes, wow. Mango. Wow. Nice. wow. Wow. I love that uh, that description. So, so this one will, this one gets a little bit smaller, but the but the standard gardenia, we've had them in my mom's now, home. right said, behind you. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we, oh, we, we have, have this one's called Amy. This one this one can get 6 to 8 feet tall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, very very tall. Let's see if I can find something. My sister has one in her, my sister has one Amy. And my sister Amy has one in her front yard. And she tends to get a little bit of the yellowing on the leaves, and I think that's it's think natural. It's na it's that. natural here because it goes, but the leaves are replaced. Right. So right. don't fret, don't fret. The leaves are replaced, but look at how shiny the yeah, leaves. That's what I love is the so shininess of the leaves that they come so out. Pretty. So pretty. So oh, yeah. these Just are like these it. are as fragrant now. See how big the flower is. Old flower. This is an old. Here, this is an old flower. Smell that. Pineapple, yeah, right? pineapple. See, that's an old one. So, but this, the flower it smells gets, similar. I feel to this one. Remember the one you like? This Ooh. one. Here, yeah. smell that. Unripe mango. Yeah, it's it just still has amazing. A smell. It has its own. It has its own. Its own character. It's just a wonderful, wonderful, and wonderful flowering as shrub. As we can see over here, oh, you have them in standards. We, we have standards, no which are uh, oh, really okay. adorable to have. Okay. John, these are amazing. There's such a bush coming out, Mike, right there. The second one in. Ooh. You can put, these, you can put these in a big pot on your on your patio by your pool if you want. Flowers underneath it. 
Yeah, wow, but these have buds everywhere. So they're going to just, uh, in another week, they, this so whole area, well, they'll be sold, but they'll be I'm flowering sure. at somebody's house. Yeah, these are these are beautiful. I'm so glad you're growing them at Standard. Wonderful, I'm wonderful. They're, they're a fantastic plant. Panama Rose, you all. Beautiful pink flower. Almost looks kind of like an Exora flower, but this plant, wonderful, wonderful scented plant. Let's give it a, let's give it a go, Michael. Not picking it up that much. Not right today, now. no. no. Uh, oh, uh, one, <laughs> one thing to remember is that this has a light scent during the day, but as you go further into the evening, this is that, when it starts to produce, that's right. produce more of a scent for yeah. you. But it's a great butterfly attractor. Butterflies love this plant. When we were doing our butterfly garden, the, the, when we went to Fairchild, they have this in there, and the butterflies just go go crazy for this. They love this. Love that plant. Wonderful. This gets this can be kept as a bush, but you Absolutely. can probably also make it as a multi-trunk Tree, we do. We, we we tend to grab those uh, stems on, and we, we tie them together, and uh, and then it just kind of grows together. And what a wonderful specimen yeah, it becomes! And look at that color, and it, it's just look how healthy the plants yeah. are. So healthy here, John. And you and your team are doing an amazing job. It's like the stuff is so vibrant and healthy. So that's Flamingo Road Nursery again, right. by the way. So mm -hmm. I don't want people to forget that, but. Uh, yeah. It is it is a fabulous. I work here. I come in daily, and I look yeah. around, and I am so grateful and thankful that I can come into a place like this. It's, that it's a little is, bit of paradise. Yeah, you got to come down paradise. here. And John couldn't be any more helpful. He's been amazing because people are coming left and right asking yeah. questions, we'll and we don't want to take up more of his time. But we want to hit maybe a few more plants. So let's go look and at some bud layer. Yeah, yeah. Butterfly bush. Look how pretty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, and they have white. Here's some white. Beautiful. Almost looks like sweet almond. Wonderful butterfly attractor and has a nice soft scent. You see this? Michael, come over see here. See how it has three here. different colors? It has dark purple. It has light purple. Light purple. Uh -huh. and, and white. The, and white. Very yes. good. Yeah. And so that is the yesterday, today, and tomorrow aspect of it. Right. And the flowers change color over time, which is so cool. And not only being a beautiful, beautiful bush, Smoking or you can dog be. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, after she takes a bath, <laughs> that's when that's how good it smells. This one forms a wonderful large shrub, or you can form them as a standard, kind of like what you were doing with your garden. Exactly. And have a wonderful, wonderful plant for your yard. This can get quite, quite big if you if you want. But it's such a pretty, pretty plant, and these, and they're scented. They have a wonderful, a wonderful light scent. It's not as strong as the gardenia. Or the jazz. And now we can turn around and look right in here to this stuff. I smell something good. Oh, 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 oh you guys smell this. You're going to be in for a treat. Go to that one. We bought this one for your butterfly garden in your backyard, remember? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's right. It's like Uncle Mike's pool. I don't know where your creative mind goes with all those online games. It smells like our swimming pool. How does that smell oh, like chlorine? It's just wonderful, isn't it? Sweet this, almond. This wonderful again, butterfly attractor. Butterfly too. attractor. It's a it, it permeates the air around it. Yeah. So again, southeast location. Let the I'm let burning. the trade winds just go ahead and blow this across your yard. Wonderful. Uh, it's wonderful. I'm burning. I got wonderful. sweatpants on. I know, right? It's hot out here. Look at me. I'm sweating, sweating like crazy. But the night blooming jasmine. It does bloom at night, for the namesake. Uh, you do have to be careful of snails. We had this on a Miami Shore song, and we planted too many, John. We planted like three, and it was enough for the whole neighborhood. These things can get very large, right? They, they get large. They can get 10 to 12 foot tall. So you don't need a lot of them. Also, I want to note that this plant could be considered invasive, so you have to be careful about that. Make sure you don't let it reseed into your neighborhood. I always recommend you put them on the southeast side of your home. We're getting a breeze from the southeast right now, and so this will carry across your whole yard. So I recommend putting them in that kind of a location. Exactly what and, we suggest and you also. Bring it. What's that? Yeah, he's now he's on a, a dirt meat. Alright, so now we're coming into Confederate Jasmine territory. This is a vine. And this lovely vine will just twine itself up. It does need a structure to climb, either a trellis. Uh, I, I put stainless steel wire in the ground and attach yeah. it to my soft, but look at, if I turn it around, what's happening? See this wall of white color? And it is fragrant. Let's smell that. 
Apple cinnamon. Wow, he's got he's got he's got the most unique olfactory senses of of anyone. I love this plant. We had this in our Miami Shores home. Yes. Of growing up columns because it is a vine. And when these things flower, and this thing will be covered in white flowers. White. Oh wait, never mind. This is so like apple pie. Now apple pie. I think we didn't give you breakfast. You're probably hungry. But this is such a great and it's a low maintenance plant. It does. Now, if, you're, if you're putting it up on a trellis, we had ours close to the roof. It don't get up on the roof, so yes, you got to you got to maintain that and make sure you, you control that. But this is a wonderful plant, and the Asiaticum has a scent too. It's probably the only ground cover, one of the ground covers right. that has a nice scent, but it's exactly. not as I don't think it's as powerful as Confederate Jack. But a, a wonderful plant. This is a lavender plant. English lavender will get three feet tall, three feet wide, and give us some real nice purplish blue inflorescence, and. Uh, flower for us all throughout the summer here it's a wonderful wonderful plant i love the gray green foliage it's just it does so well in the landscape for me uh, wonderful behind john are roses and belinda dream has a really nice scent i don't know if you have that one but i do not will, this will just give you um a, a look at the growing this is a standard so you can see see how the plants are apricot open. drift Sometimes roses will have a scent. Sometimes they and do. Some, sometimes. Oh, this one does have a nice they, light they scent. Light. This has a nice light scent. Wonderful. As does the one next to it there. I have yeah. that one at my and house. Look at those them. colors. Beautiful. Aren't they nice? And you, nice. See, you see they're growing them as standards. These are great for in a pot near your pool. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful plant. Here are some more roses that are well suited for your South Florida garden. This one here is Belinda's Dream. Grows more of a hedge type with a nice fruity scent. And then we have this beautiful white prosperity rose. This is a climber, it'll get up to about eight feet because these really pretty white flowers. And the Don Juan has these amazing deep red flowers, but this is a big climber, it'll get up quite tall. So it does great on a trellis or if you wanna use it in a plant arbor. It is a nice woodsy scent. And I'm a sucker for yellow, as I just love the gold metal rose. So pretty. This is kind of a climber, it gets up to about six feet. I recall I was going through this garden years ago, a friend of mine, and I came across this rose, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's such a wonderful scent. This like soft, fruity fragrance, oh, beautiful. And then finally, last but not least, Perfume Delight. This has an intoxicating rose scent. And it's more like the Belinda's Dream where you can keep it kind of like a hedge, but it's a really pretty rose, well suited for South Florida. And I know I just said last but not least, but there are other South Florida roses that you consider. There's some of the David Austin roses, such as the Evelyn or the Pat Austin and some others. And I'd be curious to know what you all have growing in your gardens. Please let me know in the comments section below. It'd be just great to share the successes you all have had with other roses, other scented roses growing in your South Florida garden. This plant here is called Lady of the Night. She's not a prostitute, no, but she has this wonderful, very, very strong fragrance that builds during the afternoon and into the evening, kind of like the Panama Rose, but much stronger. And it shares the same genus as the Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow. They're both in the Brumfelsia family, but it has these wonderful white and yellow creamy, I don't know, super soft yellow. I don't want to say creamy yellow. It's a beautiful flower, but very strong fragrance. And over here, we have the beautiful frangipani. It is a really unique small tree here for South Florida. It will drop all its leaves in the wintertime and form this really cool sculptural element in your yard. But when spring and summer come around, it starts shooting out these leaves and then these wonderfully fragrant flowers. They're so beautiful. There's red here, there's also yellow. This yellow one here is over at my sister's yard and there's white as well as others, but it has this wonderful scent. And if you look at all those movies where when you, when you go to Hawaii and people put the lays around your neck, those are typically of the flowers from the frangipani. Such a wonderful scented uh, tree. It's so, so cool. But again, it will drop all its leaves in the wintertime. Don't worry about that. That's just the character of the plant. This wonderful vine here is called the passion vine. There's a purple and here's a red one that's growing in my nephew's yard. We already did a video on this. If you'd like to check out 
how to grow passion vine in your yard. So please uh, look to our channel for that. But this has a wonderful soft scent. Some people say it's similar to gardenia. I don't pick that up as much, but it's a really, really cool exotic vine. Look at these flowers, they're stunning. They are amazing. And it has this really nice scent, it's unique. And I wanted to know if we could talk about citrus because they have, the lemon tree has such a great scent to me. And you have some over here. I oh, see. I have some in full bloom right now. Oh, so let's really? go get let's some go citrus. Get yeah, okay, let's, let's go, go find it. So I have some uh, blooms right here all over. Yeah, the lime has the lime has a little more muted scent than the lemon tree. Right. But you want to give it a you want to give it a whiff, Michael, and see what you think. Nice, right? Like lime? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, there's lime. Let's go find a lemon. This should be right around the corner here. Beep. <laughs> I'll be back to you. Here's a lemon tree. Wonderful. One thing you got to be aware of is that they have some thorns. These little spikes. Yeah, see, they have some thorns they over here. They have thorns on them, so become one with the plant and you're fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are going to, to fruit. Michael, here, look at the lemons forming from the flower. See the little baby lemons? And that John's looking to see if we have one in bloom. I do I'm not, not picking have one, one up. It looks like they may have just come through on the finished bloom. Oh. No, I'm, I'm smelling one. It's, mm, there's one around here. I can smell it. It smells so good. Yeah. Uh, I don't see it. Well, normally you'll see them when they do go to bloom, and these have started to go to, to uh, we'll zoom in so you can see up close, to fruit. So that's when the blo blossoms fall off. But the scent is amazing. And when I was going to college, a little Wait, sidebar no, here. Type of scent you're smelling. Yeah? When I was going to college many, many, many moons ago, uh, after spring break, I would go through the orange groves and the just hundreds and or thousands of orange trees were blooming and the smell you just open your windows it was intoxicating wonderful thing you're smelling this yeah yeah you're smelling the that's what it is okay well, let's go see if, it's, if john has something He's coming oh back i have something for us here we go let me get out of the way of the camera here for a sec this is a small little one gallon oh nice but boy oh boy check out that now smell nice. this there it is smell those yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, oh. It. It smells like lemon oh, lime. it's wonderful. Like, this is not okay. I'm, uh, you know, I'm terrible about this. I love my first is gardenia. This is coming so close, John. I know. I know you love the Grand Duke, yeah. but oh, oh no, it, it, oh, it, it, I it love just, it. It just comes it's in a, so a real cool. close second. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, but, I'm so glad you found it. And this is exactly how they bloom with these little yellow, these little trumpet bees. Yeah. Love this, as well as the swallowtail butterfly. That butterfly uses the lemon tree as a host plant. And I'll show you here an installation that we did a few months ago. Swallowtails came and laid their eggs and caterpillars developed. Let me go show you that quick video. So look what we got here. We have a giant swallowtail caterpillar, one. And we got, looks like three up here doing their thing. They're eating some of the leaves, which is okay. See them? Isn't nature amazing? I'm like, unbelievable. They they developed this so that birds don't eat them. They look like bird poop. But those are caterpillars and they form a beautiful butterfly. And look, oh, we've got a lemon forming already. How beautiful. And the scent, you all, the scent is amazing. Oh. Drives me crazy. The scent is so, so strong and so beautiful. Let's start about one. Oh. The Lang Lang. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's tree. let's see if we can walk down. Okay. And I think I have one down on the row here. Oh, look at these hibiscus. There's no scent typically no scent with them, beautiful, but beautiful. beautiful, beautiful flowers. Flowers. Look at that. Like every color under the rainbow almost, right? Do some maintenance on it real quick. But this is the Lang Lang tree. And this, this thing has grown and it is fabulously fragrant. Even, even the leaves have a have a, a fragrance to them. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you. Uncle Mike, you're gonna have to. What? Put me on your shoulder. Here. Oh, you want it? <laughs> yeah. Smell that leaf. Yeah. What's it smell like? It smells like, it smells like an apple. Apple, I like that. It's on the mango apple. <laughs> yes. Roll ups. We're on a fruit roll. <laughs> 
These, okay. these, um, we we had some where we did we did a partnership with Chanel. I'm just so sorry. It just smells like Chanel number no. five uses some of this the extract for the scent of that that wonderful That's right. that wonderful perfume. And they have these they're, they're kind of nondescript the flowers, but they're so amazing. They kind of hang down like folded leaves, and they'll come off the stem here, and you'll you'll see them. They kind of have a yellowish cast. Yes, yellowish cast. Mm -hmm. And they're just wonderful, wonderful, great, great tree to have. It grows pretty fast from. from well, it. From, I'm going to tell you what we got this in, and it, this was this tall. Yeah. And this is like two and a half to three months right here growth. Amazing. Yeah, it's, yeah. it is fabulous. Yeah, I, we ours the one we were doing was flowering in the fall, but this is more of a late summer. I late, summer. late summer. Late, late summer. Late summer. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful tree to have for your yard if you really want to get uh, some of the scent on you. It, it's amazing, amazing, almost. To me, it's close to the gardenia, but I'm still huge. Still, I'm team still gardenia. gardenia huh? and team gardenia. This is a smaller dwarf variety of the magnolia called Little Gem. A little velvety underside. Beautiful small flower. Over here, we have the spectacularly showy angel's trumpet tree. It has these profuse arrays of flowers that have this wonderful sweet scent. And it'll flower for you off and on throughout the summer. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about orchids. There are some orchids that have wonderful scents to their flowers. One here before you is the Brassavola nodosa, but there's also the Cattleya alliance. There's a Dendrobium nobile. There's also the Phalaenopsis Caribbean Sunset, the Phalaenopsis Coral Isles, Phalaenopsis Orchid World. There's so many. And these beauties would make a great addition to the side of a tree or a palm in your garden. But look to place them on the southeast corner of your home where, where you can. That way you'll catch those trade winds and bring the scent into your home. I see lemongrass over here. Oh, we certainly do. Okay, let's go I, see I, I didn't know that you were going to see that. I was going to surprise you. <laughs> I love lemongrass. This is called lemongrass. Right. Here, so do this. Grab some. 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 And now you know what? You are now mosquito proofed. What? You are now mosquito proofed. We are like proofed. mosquito magnets. Isn't that great? Now, you're we don't mosquito like proofed. mosquitoes at all. There you go. Oh, this this is, is the only way that the lemongrass is going to become a, a, a deterrent to, to mosquitoes is if you rub the blades of grass together. Yeah. And then you will smell, smell lemon as wonderful. Right. But you rub that oil oh, upon yourself. Yeah, it is really nice. The lemon yeah. oil's right here. I'll crush the leaves sometimes to get a little more of the scent. But this is not a flowering pl a plant per se, but it puts off a wonderful scent when you, you uh, crush the leaves. There you go. There you got now it. Rub That's it up and down your arms, rub, yeah. you know, and then put on your face. You go like get, this. There you go. Mosquitoes. Mosquito proof. This is a great, great grassy ground cover. You don't need to trim it. You can just set it and forget it. It wants more. I, I'm always like an impartial sun. But partial it, sun does. But I didn't realize, but I had one out back. That full grew, sun that, uh, that grew six feet tall in full sun. Wow. In full sun, so, and yeah. so who knows? You know, they they just yeah. absolutely adapted yeah. and loved it. Here are some more scented plants. <laughs> Here are some more scented plants that are great for your garden. Let's go on to that. Very nice scent on the rosemary. All you have to do is just touch the leaves gently. Mm. You make wonderful rosemary potatoes with this. It's a very tough drought tolerant plant. Highly recommend it. Grow it in an herb garden or in your garden, just as a little ground cover. Wonderful plant. And what a wonderful, wonderful scent. This is the allspice tree. It has a wonderful cinnamon-like scent when you crush the leaves. And there's also another similar type tree, the bay rum tree, which has a similar scent to the leaves when they're crushed. Wonderful, wonderful scents. This beautiful tree is called the Cinnamon Bark. It's a wonderful Florida native, beautiful glossy green leaves. Forms this wonderful branching habit. It's a true beauty. And if you take a leaf and crush it, 
It has a wonderful cinnamon scent. So with that, we've completed our list of fragrant plants for your South Florida garden. If you have any questions, please just leave it in the comment section below and I'll make sure I get back to you. So from John, little Michael and myself, thanks so much for stopping by and see you in the next video. If you found value in this video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We post weekly. Thanks. Another bee, two bees. Good nature. Let them be. <laughs> <laughs> Let them be. Do you want to go see some lemongrass? Yeah. Here, but Would you be leave it if you found some <laughs> <Leave> bees <it. laughs> on the lemongrass? That would be cool.